Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a forecast in regards to whether or not there's still a chance for your connection. Okay, this could be somebody who you're dealing with right now romantically. This could be somebody who you just recently broke up with, or you guys just may have like an on and off connection. We're going to look at that. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stay tuned. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. Um, I'm super excited to have you over here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you after viewing a couple of my videos, you're not going to want to leave anyways. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay. And make sure you guys smash the like button as well. If you are somebody who comes to my channel all the time where you're a loyal subscriber, make, make sure you hit the like button. So it tells the algorithm you want to get notified more. And if you just want to get notified or you like this video, or you just want to help your sister out, uh, definitely make sure you smash the like button as well. Okay. So let's get into it. Pisces. They're still chance for their connection and also if you do want a personal reading please take advantage of the 20 percent off opportunities i will have that listed below you can join the emailing list or take the zodiac quiz for pisces to actually get that uh, percentage off okay for my new clients pisces is there still hope for their connection that they have in mind the person who they're thinking about is there still hope for their connection? Let's see. Okay, interesting. Let's talk about this. So the first card I want, or the first set of cards I want to talk about, we do have Express Your Love. We have um, finances and career, and we also have attraction here. So looking at these cards first, the main thing I'm getting when it comes to making this connection work is working on the way that both of you guys kind of express your emotions to each other. I do feel as if there's like a, for some of you, there's either a block where somebody just doesn't express how they feel at all. This could be you or the person who you're thinking about when viewing this video. Or there could be this issue where, like I said, somebody's not expressing how they feel at all, like suppressing their feelings, or somebody's expressing their feelings the wrong way, like overly emotional, sometimes a little, some of you like a little violent, or just over the top at times with how they feel emotionally. And that may also be a little bit of a barrier here, okay? Um, another issue may be finances and career, okay? So this could be um, somebody having money problems and having to focus more on that, or somebody in the connection has some sort of financial issues and that's also eating at the relationship. Okay. Or somebody could be intimidated that one person makes more money in the connection than the other, like that type of thing. But I don't really see that for a lot of you. Um, but I see that there's true, there's true, um, there's truly an attraction to each other. Of course, with the attraction card, it's just, again, the expression of emotions and the way that you guys are handling certain situations could be a lot better. Now, looking at the first card, this is going to address how the relationship currently stands. I do have the tower. So this is speaking to the basis of how this relationship may have been built. So the foundation that the relationship was built upon, um, could it have been a lot better, especially if like the basis of the relationship is like, okay, this person, when you met them, they, you know, were in a marriage or something. And then they're like, oh, well, we're separated, but they, you, you kind of notice that this person keeps going back and forth, back and forth. That could be an issue. Some of you, this person could have an unstable relationship with the person who they have children with. And then now you're put in the mix with that situation. And it's now the foundation has now become the issue when in the beginning it wasn't. So it's like addressing whatever like issues or faulty things that are taking place in the connection so that there's no set of problems moving forward or it's being like fixed and nipped in the bud. Um, this could also be just lies in the beginning or just, you know, infidelity, whatever it may be that made the foundation unstable here. 
Now, what you feel slash want from this relationship at the moment, I do have the queen of wands in reverse. And for a lot of you, you feel like this person just may be playing you right now. Like with the queen of wands in reverse, this is like somebody playing you, somebody just, you know, being super hot headed at times. You could feel like, like sometimes this person just goes overboard with the anger. Um, you could also feel as if like this person's not showing you as much passion or, you know, being sexually intimate with you as much as they used to in the beginning. Um, all of that, you could be feeling this energy of being kind of turned off by them at times because, you know, they do too much for you, whatever it may be. And what you want from this connection is for this person to be less of a player if they have been, you know, involving you in third party situations or just not acting so distant and, you know, a lack of passion being there. Now, when it comes to what they feel about this connection or want from it, we do have the strength card. And this individual really wants things to be, for one, not so like, what's the word? Mm, they don't want the connection to be so like, um, what's the word? Like, I don't know the word, but basically they don't want you to be so distant towards them or being in this energy to where it's like you're so held back and you you kind of just don't really exhibit this energy of still wanting to be with this person. Um, they also feel as if they want or they're determined, let me say that, they're determined to make this connection work. But if they keep feeling this energy of like resistance, then they may start, you know, acting resistant as well. Now, when it comes to what I'm seeing for where this relationship is headed, I do have the emperor. And for a lot of you, the issue is, a, is like power struggles here. So there may be a level of a power struggle where both of you are just trying to fight for her, who has more control in the connection or who has more control of themselves in the connection. Um, this may also be, hmm, yeah, this may be also like you guys having just random communication out of the blue. So if this is, if this isn't somebody who you've spoken to as of recently, you guys will speak very, very soon, but make sure you guys aren't doing the whole, like I said, power struggle thing. Um, and for a lot of you, I just see you guys trying to work on the relationship in the future, um, and get control over it. Now, speaking of the future, the outcome for the month of May, I do have the devil card. So this is, hmm. For some of you, like I see towards the end of the month, you guys may have more like sexual encounters with this individual. Interesting enough. Uh, for others of you, this is more of like you having to address the toxicity that's present in your relationship and having to figure out how you guys can get out of this energy of feeling like stuck to stuck to each other in a toxic sense. For some of you, you may still feel that way. Like towards the end of the month, you may feel like, dang, no matter what I do, I can't get away from this person. Um, I'm very attracted to them, you know us being intimate with each other is like for some of you the intimacy aspect is what's also keeping you attached I'm trying to say this in a very PG-13 way by the way all right I'm trying to listen I'm trying to be PG-13 you know my Aries energy really wants me to just say <laughs> what I see with this card but I'm I'm really trying to be you know PG-13 all right so excuse me if I'm saying it weird but um okay so the intimate aspect of the connection may be also drawing you guys closer to this individual and you may be noticing that or it's compensating for whatever may be lacking in the connection as well or you guys just again feel tied to each other this could be like literally you being married and being stuck to each other or having children and feeling stuck to each other but I just see that there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done here especially when it comes to the opening up aspect and getting the the relationship back to a healthy place okay 
But this is what I'm seeing. Thank you so much, Pisces, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video. Again, subscribe so you can see my future readings. And also, if you do want to get your own reading, please take advantage of the 20% off opportunities. I will have them listed below, especially the Zodiac quiz for my Pisces. And thank you so much for your support. I love each and every one of you. All right. And I will see you in the next one.